guys long time no see um i'm sorry about that um but i'm going to hopefully be getting back into the swing of things and making videos on a more regular basis again um just really quickly i'm going to kind of give you my reasons um for not being around so much one um personal health reasons and i'm not going to go into my own personal sob story two i'm back at college and um that makes it a little bit more difficult to find time to film with classes and homework and studying and sometimes sleep um but yeah and also at times where i probably could have been filming i was actually doing makeup and working on my skill set and my portfolio so yeah instead of videos i was like do i make a video or do i go get kind of real world experience and it's like you know so now that health things are getting back under control hopefully i will have the time to do both so i apologize for not being around much but i'm hopefully back um so yeah today i'm going to show you how i store my makeup and it's a very compact way of storing my makeup because i am in a dorm room and there isn't much room in a dorm room and also it's pretty similar to the way I store things at home because my room at home is very very small as well so yeah if you don't have much storage space for your makeup this might be helpful to you and if you have a lot of room you're super lucky and I'm so jealous okay and just a disclaimer this is how I store my makeup um, I'm just showing you for a storage idea, not to be like, oh, look at all my makeup, and trust me, um, it's not, it, it's a lot of makeup, but it's all drugstore makeup, so, yeah. Um, alright, so let's get to showing you my makeup storage, and hopefully I won't be too shaky with the camera, we'll see, and, so yeah, here we go. Okay, so this is my closet and I thankfully have a shelving unit down the right of my closet which thankfully has become super useful for my makeup storage. And then on the left I have clothes and my shoe rack and big open space where my hamper usually is but it's laundry day so yeah. Um, what I have on the first shelf, I'll zoom out. Here are the five drawer things, and I haven't taken the stickers off, I don't know why, but this is nail polishes, and if you want, I'll take another video and go through how I separate my nail polishes, if you want, um, and then here I have mascaras, liners, lip glosses, um, this is chapsticks and lip balms here, and then I have lipsticks, and, um, on a cup on my desk, I have my lip stains so that they can rest point down and not dry out as quickly. And then over on the shelf, I have hair products kind of along the side here. And then I have my palettes that I reach for all the time. Then I have palettes that I don't use as often. And then here is where I keep my single eyeshadows. And I just got a little drawer container thing from the like kitchen section in Walmart and put CoverGirl singles here and other singles there. Then my color tattoos are usually in the front, but they get messed up as I open the drawers. Just other singles and shimmery pigments and stuff like that right there. Nothing too special, but those are my singles. And then I have my kind of foundations and concealers and BB cream drawer. My blushes, highlighter, and bronzing drawer, and I've divided it as such with blushes over here, bronzers over here, and highlighters down the middle. And down in the very, in this drawer, there isn't really anything right now. And there's like, yeah, there's glitter spray in that drawer and a powder puff, so nothing really important. And then there's my kind of belts and gloves necklaces and bracelets in this drawer and then hand lotion and I have my first aid kit behind my hand lotion and then at the bottom I have my case for my kit and my clarinet for orchestra rehearsal and yeah my shower caddy so all very interesting but yeah so that is how I store my makeup 
here and as you can see it's pretty compact if you just had like a desk or something you could definitely easily build something as such all of the containers I got from Walmart they're about seven dollars each um, I know like Staples and the container store and tons of places have containers like that so it doesn't really matter where you get them um out of breath for some reason and then all this stuff I use on a daily basis is on my desk but my desk is currently a mess as it is mid laundry process so yeah um that's about it so yeah that's pretty much how I store my makeup I still have like my brush roll and my brushes and stuff and on my desk like I said is the makeup that I use every day in another one of those little white containers then I have my lip stains and um, just little tools, but that is the majority of my makeup and how I store it while I am here and pretty much how I store it at home. So hopefully that was helpful or somewhat interesting. I know I really enjoy seeing how people store their makeup, like I get to walk into their closet or something. It's a little strange sometimes, but yeah. So hopefully this was interesting. I just that I'm sorry I'm rambling and out of practice but yeah so um I guess I'm gonna go because that's pretty much it and yeah so thank you so much for watching and I will see you in my next video which will hopefully be soon bye